Welcome to the Volt Variety Hour show, show, show. Starring Volt. Hey. And me, Twitch. Bitch. Alright, back to it. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, you know what happened? What happened, you dirty fuck? We got a fucking text message from our childhood friend. She's not our childhood friend. And we're gonna answer it. You gonna read it? Senpai, do you have time today? No. Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> we'll see. I was thinking I needed to make good on our deal. No time like the present, right? We can start hammering those basics into it anytime. <laughs> she turns to like a hardcore drill instructor. <laughs> oh my god. Go see her. Thank uh, you. Then, uh, uh, how about we meet in Inokashira Park? Oh. Sorry, I, I never when this one's actually working. Anyways, uh, Inokashira Park then, I'll see you there. I don't know why she said that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> that wasn't needed at all. Oh, we, we gotta pay money to go there. Do we yeah, really? Okay, maybe not. Good. Probably on the way back though. Not bad, Ramasama Senpai. You're pretty flexible and you catch on so fast. At this rate, you have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. She's like, wow, it's like you don't have any balls at all. <sighs> that doesn't have to do with anything with gymnastics. You sure about that? Doing flips? Yeah, but you still have to like, do this like one jump where you gotta like, make your legs go pretty high. Yeah, but you're not... Your, ball, your balls have nothing to do with that. They can hang free in the air. They can go... Okay, maybe not then. They can go, I'm free! Since, since, since Twitch is the uh, gymnastics expert over here. I'm the boxing expert. Come on, do, the, do a flip. Okay, okay, ready? <laughs> now he's, right, ready? he's getting ready. <laughs> I give that a 2 out of 4. Oh god, is there a rebar sticking through my stomach? Yeah. Oh shit. My body's aching. It's all about in like the uh, the harmony between the internal and external. Oh, fuck it. I, just do it. Yeah, you gotta align your chakras. Yeah, like Duck always says. Oh shit! I have a uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, we gotta do the thing. This, this, this is the social link. I forgot. Uh, 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 is uh, 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 go me. Find it, Twitch. Come on. Come on. Go faster. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. Yeah, I'm extreme. I'm cool. Well, My cock's fat. You. Feisty, aren't we? I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they demand a lot of stretching. Alright, let's continue. I haven't seen any of you do a single yeah. flip yet. I stretch with the Kitsumi, even though it. It won't open that much. To me, please no. I think it's good enough stretching for now. Good effort, Senpai. You, you did it. Joker, it's 3 a.m. Time for your stretching. Yes, dear. And, um, I'd like to continue with our training, but... I'm not actually doing so great at the moment. <laughs> I, uh... So, uh, I'm not sure I could manage anything too strenuous. Oh shit, I forgot the- oh fuck. Uh, next time then. Thank you for understanding. I was thinking... You remember how you said- how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? No. I feel like I'm stuck in the slump. Okay. You're like, I didn't ask to hear your fucking <laughs> life story. I, I said that so you could just give me some training, dog. No matter how much I practice, I just can't get any better. I went to my coach about it, but... She told me I should take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. Why? Maybe. The idea is just not to stop doing gymnastics, just... She wants me to take a break. Oh, shit. Oh, anyone. I see. Man, this game feels pretty good. Coke flavor. I've never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now, I have no idea what to do. So, um, Ram Sama, kinda wanted you to help me about that. You know, 
What do you want this stranger, this complete fucking stranger, to help you with? Uh, I don't know. Even if we're not doing gymnastics, will you still keep going out with me? What? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, romantically? Go ahead. No. Oh, oh well, no, I'm not like that. that. Gets up and walks away. <laughs> Even though this game's kind of forcing her down your throat. I've heard my coach praising me. She says, Kasumi's the greatest weapon. Hey, wait, the. <laughs> yeah, boldness. Yeah, bye. Good night. She walks away and jumps into the lake. <laughs> just just like how the devs talked about me. They were like, Kasumi's your favorite character. You'll love her. You'll love me. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics was a fun challenge. That wasn't up until I broke my ankle in 86. It's been all downhill from there. Up until the bite of 86. Or 87. 87. But ever since I started high school, I've been in one slump. I got taller for one. And there were some other complications. I used to have this uh, one saying in my life where I would always go back in 85. Yeah, I remember that. Oh. I can't move how I want anymore. Like, it's not even my own body. Kind of fell into a depression. Got pretty bad. But... But... You helped me in Shibuya. Something occurred to me. It's like my therapist uh, diagnosed me with uh, minor uh, schizophrenia. Uh, dissociative identity disorder. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one for the job. All I did was stop a guy from assaulting you. Yeah, I, I was a, uh, just a basic good human. If I stick with you, senpai, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Leave it to me. Sure. Yes. Great, thank you. I'm not gonna do the giggle. Giggle. You're a strange one, senpai. I didn't think you'd accept it. Well then, I'll try and return the favor though. <laughs> through ordeal. By sucking you off behind this tree. Come on. Ah. Uh. <laughs> La foi allows you to avoid being surrounded. What? All right. Wait, allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies in the palace? Does okay. That, does that mean that's pretty good? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, after lessons with Kasumi, Kapachi can now use tumbling. If a shadow attacks you. Head on in a palace, you'll be able to avoid being surrounded by enemies and turn the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. Ooh, that's, that's pretty, pretty fucking yeah, good! That's pretty good. Oh, excuse me. I should get going. I have a meeting with my coach. AKA, my therapist at my asylum. Alright, bye. Whoosh! Jump, jumps in the water. <laughs> Alright, bye. <laughs> yeah, she walks away and, like, the van opens up and, like, a guy with a straight jacket puts her in and walks away. <laughs> I'm actually not supposed to be out. <laughs> Thanks to consumer training, I feel like my stamina has increased. All right. Oh. Oh, that's good. I, th I mean, I, th I thought I was going to give you like an SP bonus. Consumer was taken away by the van, and I never saw her again. Good times. All right, I guess I'll head home. I forget about her. Man, who the fuck is this? It's me! Thank you very much for joining me today, Ramos. Was... Oh. Are you feeling sore after all that? You, uh, you place stress on that muscles that you don't use very often. Please remember to massage them out before you uh, sleep. <laughs> You're like, don't worry, I'll rub one out. <laughs> but I'm so glad you accepted my request. I was so relieved, I suddenly got all hungry. And then my stomach wouldn't stop growling in my meeting. What? Impressive. Thank you very much. Though I don't really know if that's worth any praise. An excessive diet tends to make most people feel sick. It seems to have the opposite effect on me. But since you're helping me out, I'll do whatever it takes to maintain my shape. I hope you can help me out next time, senpai. I'll be reaching out again soon. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, so I think you can only hang out with her when she texts you. Yeah. Man, did it? Did we order a package? I don't remember. Oh no. Nah, 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 nah. Oh my god! 
You know, we're going to that TV t station tomorrow, yeah? I was thinking we might be able to find our next target there. Oh, that's right. We're always hearing gossip about dark sides of celebrities. Oof. Uh-oh. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Have you heard about Tom Hanks? <clears throat> With that much money, they've probably got their fingers in all sorts of dirt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Why is this game oddly relevant? No. That phrasing is quite a, the immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyway, we got to observe a live recording of a show, right? Ooh, maybe we're gonna be on TV. We'll just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearance would be for like two seconds. Hmm. Try not to pull in the fanciful stunts to garner attention, okay? Just <laughs> like Ryuji trips and falls face for Oh no. What y'all fools want? Have you been getting a lot of spam mail lately? How are they getting my information? Cause you're going to cause you go to certain websites and that's how they get your what's it called? Right? Yes. You remember that <laughs> cyber attack? Uh, 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 it's a different person. Oh shit. <sighs> yeah, they're on Indian, right? Uh, uh, I, I, don't, I don't. Anyway, tens of thousands of people's personal information were leaked. Oh, yeah, right. I heard about that. Uh, those hackers. I hear they've been causing damage around the world. They act like they're fighting an unjust system, but there's still a problem for people like us. Thank you. That curry was delicious. He didn't answer what I said. But all right. <laughs> Runs away. <laughs> Does it pay to have? Uh oh, just like Nishima. Oh, hey, hey what's a in box. this storage? What's in this box? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'll use the benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll take the benefits. <laughs> oh. Uh, no. No. Okay. Oh, you can be. Oh yeah, future, future, future. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was wondering how long this shit lasts. Give the bionutrients. Fucking turns into a tyrant. Oh, no, no. Uh, Plant forty two. <laughs> was it? Was it forty two? I don't remember actually. It, it's it, it's been a real long time since I played uh Resident Evil. Resident Evil, like Resident Evil, like Resident Evil, like Resident Evil. <laughs> Point up. Yes. To our kindness, how never be kind, kind, people. Of all right. Oh man, what should we do? Uh, are we able to visit the velvet room? Yes, sir. No, no, I'm at Takumi. No, cause it's not daytime. Who the fuck's that tall bitch? Get the fuck out of my alley! Oops, wrong button. Do 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 do. Who the fuck's in Shibuya? Yeah, I mean, oh, Mish Mishima. Uh, she's a retreat. Oops. Moshima. Are you stupid? What? I, uh, uh, like the background chatter. Oh. Uh, Mishima. Nigerian guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Yeah, hang off them. What the fuck? How they are, how are they ready already? I don't know. All right, time to name the location, Justine. You do the honors. Listen closely. The place we wish to evaluate for your re rehabilitation is... One that many young people are set to visit. Here. One has an opportunity to visit the fantasies of humans. We hear there are a variety of fantasies available for the... per usual there. All outside of the palace. How strange. Yes, these fantasies. Other oh, movies. Yeah, they are cognitions of others' given form. They will undoubtedly support your efforts. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. Yep. Yeah. So what'll it be? A little bitch boy. You mean the movie theater? A little piss baby. Joker the piss baby. Look at Joker. Joker's such a little piss baby. The what? 
the moving theater. This place cursed to wander the land or something. That sounds that sounds terrible. We should confirm our intel for ourselves. Lead the way. Lead the way. That was a rather enjoyable inmate. We won't underestimate the human imagination again. Oh, I expected us to be like sitting in the theater. As yeah, I was over, hoping for that. Uh, like like the movie. I was hoping for them to talk really fucking loudly. You may claim to have enjoyed yourself, but your screams told quite a different story to anyone who could hear. It's no wonder how everyone mistakes us for elementary school students. Shut up! Shut up! It was the only because of the jumping th of the thing jumping out of my face. And you were just scared, Justine. It certainly was startling. The eyes and the nose seemed to stretch. Oh, right, right at me, just like Igor. <laughs> and it all became the. Mo oh wait, and it all began the moment I donned those black glasses. Oh, let me go see a 3D movie. Yeah, man, remember when 3D movies were a thing? They still are. Like when? I don't fucking know. Remember when movies were a thing? <laughs> Said. What exactly where there's that reward? 3D glasses. Magical devices. Oh, so there's some sort of trick to the glasses? Huh. But your own glasses are just normal ones, right? Your own attention wasn't wandering while we were caught up in the movie, was it? Why is it that humans create such large and elaborate fabrications in the first place, though? Isn't imagining one of these things satisfying enough? Even dreaming like a superior pastime? Seem like, yeah, it seems like it. Yes, why do humans go so far to spend their money just to witness fictional events? Escapism. Oh. Escape reality. So they just wish to avert their eyes from the world that they live in. What an unsettling answer. Oh, oh now that you put it like that, it is kind of sad. Escape, you say. That sounds rather human as well. Don't tell me. You wouldn't have to be plotting your own escape of your own inmate, would you? I mean, ever that thing real fucking weird. No matter how much you might run against it, you should retain remain. or remain our inmate. Even the very thought of such a foolish endeavor is pointless for you. Or could you? Uh, could the line of thinking be yet another avenue of escaping reality? Hmm. What a pathetic fantasy. I bet you are thinking of blasting away the cell door, weren't you? Don't even consider such... What? Crassness. Crassness, Caroline. If you were to attempt a blatant break, jailbreak, either our master or ourselves will notice it immediately because he's the only inmate. Huh. I just realized something. Yeah. So in Persona 3, the uh, the elevator like it, so you know how like you're in like an elevator when you're in the velvet room. Yeah. It represents how like the character like feels like he isn't settling anywhere in life. Mm -hmm. How he's like constantly moving. And in this one, uh, I think the jail is supposed to represent like how Joker how, feels con like yeah con uh, contained and not, and he's no, not, not going contained, anymore. Uh, repressed by society. Okay. What the fuck does the limo mean? In Persona in 4, 4, does it just mean that like? You is like big balling or something like that. That's exactly what I was gonna say. That you, as a fucking boss bitch, all right. That yeah. you have to drive around in a limo. You is the essence of player. That dude is swimming in puss. You know, you know, you know it's funny. What I saw this meme where it's like uh, in Persona Three, you have charm like for like your uh, social link or not uh, social stats yeah and in this one you have charm too but in persona 4 you don't have it because he has it already he already has it <laughs> oh and how'd you do it justine would you give me an okay sign <laughs> to see if you read it or not oh uh i would no it's justine i would use a spoon to dig a hole through the wall just like that one book uh the Shawshank Shawshank redemption. redemption and conceal it within a post oh god damn it Blowing the cell open door seems more impactful. 
Yeah, but you would need like explosives and whatnot. Where the fuck are you gonna get that? Yeah, seriously. Uh, unless you're like Iron Man 2 it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking Ivan Vanko. They used that plan in the movie, pre or one of the movie previews, right? They wheeled a bazooka and went around blowing everything up. Any recaptured escape is executed on the spot. Freedom or death are the only options for the inmate on uh, on the lamb. On the lamb, suspense and excitement are necessary elements of any escape. Did you learn nothing from the movie, Caroline, or were you simply enjoying yourself? What? Shut up. The inmate will settle this for us. Hey, tell us how you try to escape. <laughs> Hits him in the knee. Would you blast the door open, or use a spoon? I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Because society doesn't want me anywhere. Or <laughs> won't accept me. That is not the answer we're looking for. Caroline, hit him. <laughs> doesn't matter either. You can't escape us no matter how sound you think your plan is. There's no harm in allowing yourself to fantasize a little bit every now and then. Oh, now you come around to it. Indeed. Today we learn more about the power of human imagination. No wonder such vile palaces plague humanity. <laughs> Don't fall behind. You're hereby free to fantasize, but keep... Well, keep it in check, inmate. Your job is to focus on your rehabilitation. I don't know why I did a whip when... <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. That being said, here's your reward. Caroline, hit him. <laughs> Ooh! Hey, wait a second. Can we give that yeah, to her? Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. Now, wait. Did we did we sacrifice her? Yeah. No, no, did we sacrifice Aminu, uh, Aminu no. Azume? Okay, thank God. Oh, dude, my balls are about to pop. Why? Because I was scared that oh, we sacrificed oh, her. Oh, yeah. I believe that will be it for today. This is... Uh, it is time to return. Okay, bye. Caroline, hit him. <laughs> What's up with you and the Caroline? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just flows so well. Just her hitting him, hitting him like the fucking kneecaps. Like, like not, not directly in the kneecap, but like on the side. Oh. Where you, like, she breaks his leg. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 oh, no, no, I, I could see, I could see you're like, uh, grabbing a taser and hitting him right in the spinal cord. Uh. Has that ever happened to you? Been tased? No, no, like, tased, tased in the spine. No. That happened to me. How'd that go? It was funny. No. Oh. Because <laughs> all my joints, or all my, like, all my nerves went, and I couldn't stand. And that? Wait, did she already? Yeah, yeah, she did. <laughs> Joker asleep on the floor. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Hey, so, uh, does the, uh... What are you doing? my phone. The remote. The remote. Yeah. Why well, you can't hear anything? It's a little quiet. Yeah, it's actually quiet for me too. Son of a bitch. Okay, that, that should be better. Uh, let me see if we can find that. No mo no. rules. No. No. Where, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Man, fuck it. Okay. Wait. There, it's right there. It's right behind you. It's right behind you. Right there. Uh, 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 getting hotter. Getting hotter. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh god. Holy crap, Twitch. I can't grab it. There we go. Contort your back. <sighs> there we go. Oh shit. Sleep. He ain't even listening. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more uh, cool. Obvious? So sleepy. So sleepy. Who's a duck now? Twins. Wow. Twins. Getting bashed in the knees. <laughs> Joker has like a cast on like his leg. <laughs> He's like, Joker man, what happened to you? It's like nothing. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the inmates are like hiding behind like a soundboard, <laughs> staring malici maliciously, yeah. intently. So, the best parts are Caroline's like, Justine, knees. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. 
room. Wow, you don't say so. Hey, no shit. Does this go? I swear I'm not gonna <laughs> Move, bitch. <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> I never knew I wanted to hear Morgana go. Ugh! Oh, my cat fell out. <laughs> How would people react to that? Just like <laughs> a cat falling it. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it's him again. Sure, think he is. Our next palace. Hey there. No. You want to be on TV? Hell yeah, but. Hey, you want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. Dude. Uh, Dude. Uh, what? He he knows that these students are from like a high school trip. That's so creepy. It very. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. His <laughs> her sweet gam gams. Just fucking speak up, Ryuji. What's that guy gonna do to you? You're, you're fucking. You can kick his ass. Look at that, look at that little beta. I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Oh, come down there, buddy. Will you quiet down? And I don't mean physically. Or I don't mean metaphorically. I mean physically. I will rip their hearts out and sell them on the black market. <laughs> Like a good Samaritan. Like I need money. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay. Well then, uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. No. Oh. Hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Poor oh, Rigugi. This is totally killing my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. We, we fought valiantly me. against the long black cables. Remember, kids, if anyone asks, or if he asks, Stay away from Woolly's long black cable. Yeah, yeah. Don't ever go to, uh, go near Woolly's black long, long black cable. He's pissed off. Are we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? You see him off your trigger for no reason. Yeah. Bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Is he gonna cry? Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. Yeah, it'll be a flaker. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. Shut the fuck up. That reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Morgana, you can't eat the giant pancake. Yeah. Oh, you mean Dome Town? I wonder who's it owned by. What do you mean? The round part what? Is the Dome Town? The outside, they've got an yeah? Park. I don't get it. It's owned by Doug Dimmadome. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Yeah, but you go flying off a ride. <laughs> Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Imagine a cat like fling out like off a roller coaster. I don't want to imagine Legs that. Legs spread out, it just spinning in a circle motion. Oh man. Hey, you can't just put it in the bag. Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. 
fucking stupid ass bitch. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students? Uh, excuse me. Academy? Did we ask? <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My oh, name shut is the fuck up. A catchy. A catchy. A catchy? A ketchup. Filming? What? You a celebrity? Popular or something? Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh. Awkward silence. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Everyone's like, I don't really care, man. Just, uh, nah. this is awkward, man, put man. that shit on auto. Oh, I do that so we could talk between seconds. Oh, okay. Was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're so what you want? Yeah. I Who the fuck mentioned today, cake? So I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> I don't want to. Like, what's up with this guy? I was like, I don't want to go along. He's oddly friendly. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. And that's where that stupid fucking meme began. No matter. Well, what name? Tomorrow. Meme. Meme? Yeah. Oh, is there some shitty, like, a catchy pancake meme? Yeah. That's on the uh, cursed, uh, what is it? Instagram? Yep. Yeah, okay. What's <laughs> with that dead look in your eye? Are you tired of seeing it? I, I fucking hate seeing, like, a catchy. Oh, a catchy pancake boy. He's such a sweet boy. Look at a catchy. He's so cute. He likes pancakes. He, he kind of cute, though. We'll get there when we get there. That guy's got to be some kind of startup entertainer or something. It's like, who the fuck do you think he was, buddy? It's our conversation. Mm -hmm. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. Fuck. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's go to Dome Town. <laughs> it's like he, it's like he walks back. He's like, so uh, I'm invited, right? So I can, I can come, right? <laughs> no, go. No, no, no. Even better, even better. They leave. They, they, they like, they, they, uh, they run out, right? And then yeah. he comes back, he's like, okay, guys, I'm ready. He's wearing, like, normal clothes. Oh, no. A corridor empty. The corridor, like, no, no, no. The door, like, the door is, like, closing slowly. <laughs> he's like, guys. <laughs> Slapping in and out. Yeah. He's like, G guys? You know how sad that'd be? That'd be extremely sad. Because that would just make you feel that, like, a kid just hasn't, doesn't have any friends or any social Oh, life. he doesn't. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Sweet Obashi, an entertainment hub built around a stadium, home to many universities. Ultimate urban leisure. Leisure. Fuck, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Enjoy the arcade spots, theme parks, and more. You'll become a dating expert. All right. What does that have to do with that? Yeah, I don't know. Bitches he love theme parks. You've now been informed of, of the new hotspot, Shurubashi Dome Town. <laughs> Dome Town. You can also invite people who may like it there for you uh, to hang out and do, do shit. Yeah. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get Oh, I'm ready? really hoping to see a catchy come back. I know. <laughs> Got. Oh. S sad, sad violin. That MP3. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Shut up, cat. Dude, it's not fair. Oh, using your cat hood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, I've never been on an actual like roller coaster that's made me want to puke. Like I've eaten some greasy, nasty fucking foods, and I've gone on roller coasters. I've eaten like some Disney food, and I've fucking gone on roller some coasters. Disney food, dude. You don't even know Disney food. It's fucking great. That shit makes. Wait, wait. I thought you said Disney food sucked. Uh, at this one place called Epcot. Ah. Oh. Where's that one again? Florida? Yeah. Okay. Epcot food fucking sucks. Oh, okay, was it Epcot the failure? Kinda. Kinda? Yeah. Okay. But people go there and... Like, Epcot is like... It's like that one child that, like, no one really likes, but you... you you're, you're forced to hang out with them? Yeah. Let's go home. We have full day. <laughs> no, no, no. You hang out with them because you feel bad for them. Oh. You're like, Maybe Epcot's a little better this year than you go. And you're like, oh... I mean, at least they got Epcot ball. Well, what? The Epcot ball. Oh. The giant golf ball. 
They're gonna film uh, at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's Ryuji's thing. Bitch. Um. Fuck. What we do now? I guess we read a book. Out. Oh. Let's uh. Let's check. Um. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Check who? Uh, check what? Just confidence. We could do Mishima. Do you wanna? Uh, not really. Fuck it, do it. <laughs> he's just gonna bitch about uh, how he's like the PR manager. And how he's sad. And how all his bitches leave him. What up, Mishima? I feel bad for you, so I'm gonna talk to you. The today. Phantom Thieves have finally made their big primetime debut. Info has started pouring into the fan site, too. I'm gonna be a busy bee. I love B movie. I wish that's Mishima's favorite movie. Like, B movie. So, you did a request like I asked. Yeah, fucking thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, so I uh, figured out another way I can help you as your strategic image management representative. It's a great Mishima, deal for why you, of course. It like every time you bring that up, you add another word. Right? Are you free today? I feel my bond with Mishima will go stronger soon. Uh, you you want to check his bond to see what uh, thing we're on? We're at four. Huh? Uh, we're at three right now, but we're going to go to four. Okay. I already have it. And go with him. Oh, we're, we're going to be going to an expensive buffet over in Shibuya. Yeah, you better pay your fucking tab. Bitch. Don't worry, though. We don't, we don't worry about the price, though. Come on, follow me. <laughs> you, you didn't say yes. You didn't agree to me. <laughs> I feel like we've been here. Yeah, we have. With, uh, with Anne and Ryuji. Oh, okay. Remember after uh, Kamashita? Yeah. <laughs> Today's my treat. Fan thieves are all about the fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. We didn't exactly accomplish anything big. You stop Madarama, you stupid fuck. Oh, it'll just be the two of us. Don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Steak sounds good. Steak sounds good. I was just looking at the other, uh, okay. the other ones. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for a tough guy like us. Yeah, it's a tough guy like us. Yeah. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure to make... Let's get our money's worth. Actually, Anyway, I posted on the fan site that I had connection to you guys, and the fandom really ate that up. <laughs> Don't worry though, I didn't say anything that would point to your real my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization though. The donations I got after were pretty generous to say the least. Yeah, I, I opened up a Patreon. Hoping it's their fan, uh, fans I opened only an OnlyFans. Yeah, OnlyFans. I don't know why I keep thinking it's fans only. Because that sounds better. Eh. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad strategic management, huh? So, uh, how much have you actually made? 20 bucks. <laughs> no, uh, 3 million yen. It's about $30,000. Yeah. You're amazing. <laughs> that sounds like a scam. Joker's like, Joker's like, uh, so, uh, uh, where's our cut? Oh, uh, you know, it costs a lot to manage all this, so... I gotta spread things around, I gotta liquidate things, you know how it is. And it was a piece of cake for someone as skilled as me. Let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. Okay, and, uh, it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? <laughs> yeah, tax write-off. Wait a minute. I've seen on the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an unacceptable business uh, business expense, but can the same be said about an expensive buffet? Oh. Yeah. The more I think about it, the more I think about this whole thing, the less I feel like we should use the donations here. Oh my god, quit being a wet Mishima. Let's just go big. I mean, let's get strippers too. People would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. It's like that one, uh, that one priest or whatever. What priest? Oh, yeah, yeah, that fucking, that antichrist. Uh, the same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess we're returning the money would be the best choice. You're right. You know, I don't get that. Right. So, did me, me, Mishima never actually said what they'd use the money for. He just said on the fucking fan site that the money... Or it takes a lot of money to fucking run this thing. Well, uh... That would probably be to host the domain. 
Yeah, that too, but like, he got a bunch of fucking money, and I'm sure they wouldn't expect- Wait, 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 wait. Do you know how much he actually got? No, a lot, though. Oh. Because people were giving him donations. Um, and it, and it probably isn't expensive to run just a domain, you know? You know what makes uh, actually no sense is that they should have kept it anyways. Yeah. To distribute it between uh, the Phantom Thieves. As, like, payment. Uh, not not just like payment, a paycheck. but for supplies. Yeah. Weapons, gear, um, potions and whatnot. Yeah. Like, to actually have, like, a, a, a steady flow of income that you get, I don't know, every other day. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't do that. God damn it, Atlas, piece of shit. Yeah, we really need to make sure that we keep the image of the Phantom Thieves clean in our fans' minds. I think I'll return the money in. Thanks to the fan, or thank the fandom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts their popularity, right? I think about this all night. Man, maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. I mean, if only I was a phantom thief. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'm still gathering info on the forum too. I actually have a few solid leads right now. Mishima's got like a like a costume in his uh, closet oh, and everything. He puts it on at night and and, and acts like a phantom thief. He's like, uh, what w- what would be his, his uh phantom thief name? Uh, uh, I I don't know what animal does uh, or I guess thing Mishima will go after. What? Picture like a panda. No, I think or like a or like a red panda. I think you go for like a kind of like Moon Knight kind of look. A Moon Knight kind of look. Why? Yeah. Why, why? Why that? Because his uh, what's he called is the moon. Oh, but Moon Knight's badass. <laughs> oh. Huh? I said oh. Well, like what? Like, Mishima's not badass. Yeah. I, uh, what would be Mishima's fucking persona? I mean, like costume. Hmm. I don't know, but it wouldn't look raggedy. It would look like Moon Knight whenever he was in the, uh, the, uh, the, the fucking psycho hospital. Oh, yeah, when Moon Knight was wearing, like, the fucking, uh, the pillowcase and the bed sheet. Yeah. And he had the bandages around his I fucking love that. Uh, okay. His persona would be, like, Bozo the Clown. Because Mishima's a fucking clown. Everything so far is close to home. But these next ones are gonna blow your socks off. Are they? Mishima seems particularly enthusiastic today. So are you guys just gonna walk back home after that? Cause... <laughs> yeah, so I spent 200 yen to come out of the movie here for nothing? You're like, fuck it, I'm using my own money. I, I, I honestly would, I'd be like, I made the trip here, I'm gonna fucking get something out of it. Yeah. That's a shove food in my mouth. So if we're returning the money, how are we gonna cover our meal? Wait, they ate already? I don't know. Mm, I'm flat broke. Is that great? Gotta pay your fucking tab again. I guess let's just go home. I would be pissed at someone if they did that. Like if they call me all the way out here to like a fucking fancy restaurant and then flake like that. You know, since they're on the train, they probably like, oh. Uh, spent more? No. Went somewhere like an hour away, so you wasted so much time doing nothing. Yeah. Oh, Ramasama, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. You thanks, know. jackass. Not like my stomach's growling or anything. Yeah. Like Don't you live in a curry restaurant? Shut the fuck up. As a strategic management representative representation of uh, the political force of the Phantom Thieves, I want to splurge a little to boost morale, but... <laughs> Folks like little glance at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michelle. Sure. You want to go with that again? As a strategic image management rep for the political party of the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to splurge a little to boost morale, but... Okay. I guess it ended up being pretty good for a PR in the end, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, right. It was kind of rough avoiding a pluie glares on the way out, but we gotta stay positive. There's so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was funny. Okay, bye. Yeah. Oh, it's almost the weekend. Mr. Ah, fuck. We have to do this again. Oh. Joe's like, who? Who? He's like, hey guys, uh, did you guys leave without me or something like that? I was kind of, I waited for like a few hours. Or like, did you not go at all? Like, like, like what, what happened? He's like, I waited for a few hours in the hallway. 
didn't come no, back. I, I got changed and everything. Cutting back from commercial. It's so sad. <laughs> it really Seven, is. Six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine. Look at that 88 right there. It's the I don't know. School detective Goro Akechi. Dude, I'd get a headache if I was like Akechi. He looks like he has a headache being on that show. Or no, no. I bet you he's like like glancing at Joe. He's like, you piece of fucking shit. You fucking left me there. I know you left me. I know you fucking left me. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi Kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found like it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Well, buy, buy me that tie. No. Moving along, we've been told okay. there's a case on your mind right now. Okay. Care to share, detective? Oh yes. No. That would be the scandal involving the master artist Madarame. There it is. All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi Kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't like, I like his voice. That yeah. Real. That argue with you. I, I like this stuff when the first thing I noticed. That Santa Claus actually existed. All right, now you're kind of weird. Although, if he did, I'm, look, he he's had a bad childhood. Either. He really he's like, there's, there's something weird about the jacket. He's like, he's like, oh, when I make the joke, it's not <laughs> funny. <laughs> I believe no, I bet you, I bet you, like, Akechi overheard Ryuji telling that joke to his friends, and his friends were like, ah, ah. and then Akechi told the joke, and everyone's like, oh, 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 that's hilarious. Ryuji sets up the joke, and before he gets the punchline, Akechi just steals it, oh. and then he gets all the credit. No, 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 Ryuji said it, like, like, quietly, no one heard him, but then Akechi says it, and he That's gets all the credits. I mean, yeah. But is, is, is that a bad thing? Like, are that, you just an asshole? Yeah. Oh, I get who you are. You're, uh, you're, you're Jimmy Fallon. What the artist Madarame did truly I bet you Jimmy Fallon is in some sketchy shit. He seems like a sketchy dude. Really? To, he, he seems like an asshole. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that is true. However, they're taking the law into their own hands. That and like, I just don't, I don't, I don't think Jimmy Fallon's funny. From justice. Like when he was in SNL, he would always glance at the camera. He'd be like, <laughs> I like how you do that, and no one can see that only I. Yeah, can. But you can. Or all, all people can hear is like my frantic panting. Yeah, but don't people torture people to get the information out of them? <laughs> In certain circumstances, yes. And even then, no one was speaking up about these crimes. Fair point. In fact, people knew about these crimes, they just weren't speaking up about them. Yeah. Plus, it's you, Akechi. Since you're a... Uh, Detective. Is it... Hold on, hold on. Is it PA? No, no. Private detective. PD. A PI. Huh? A private investigator. Private investigator. Yeah, yeah. There, there we go. You should be on uh, talk uh, uh, talk shows. Well, here's the thing. He's a he's a detective prince, so he's on show. He's a de he's detective prince, and he's cute. But you get why, right? Yeah, but like even Naruto was on what, what's it called? Fair. But I have more reasoning now. Like yes. you be marked as a as a as a target so quick. And like your uh your opponents or the would be like for, looking out for you. Would would give you a bunch of mess leads. Yeah. They would purposely set up a bunch of mess leads. If that were the case, I'd say If they were that smart. Right. Yeah, not that I'm a criminal or anything, but you know whatever. <laughs> not that I'm a criminal. Let's try asking some students the same age as a catchy kun about the phantom thieves. First, actually I think a catchy is uh, a a grade above the Did I tell you that? Exist? Uh I, th I think I mentioned that. Did we? Because I think last I, episode. Yeah, I think we talked about how uh, we, uh, Yusuke is uh, a grade above. Maybe we did. No, maybe that's what it was. I know. I know. Uh, Futaba is a grade below. Actually, I don't even think she goes to school. 
Oh, that's what that's for. It, it picks someone out of the crowd. Oh, shit. Nope, never mind. I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. Wait, is that our actual percentage? Something like that. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Yeah, well, we go and say... <laughs> Joker starts, like, telling everyone what they do. All right. Let's try asking this student here. What do you want? Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? I don't like these answers. These are really, like, real oh, fucking... Oh, I hate that one. They do more than cops. They're, it's really fucking self-centered. I hate all these fucking answers. Uh, I like justice. I go for it. You say that with such firmness. I wouldn't say that they're justice itself. Justice itself, but but they're doing something that's right. They're doing something that's good. You had about them being tried by law, yeah. Fuck you. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. Especially for someone who ditched me yesterday for a date we had planned out. What? We didn't plan anything! You barged into it! In that case... I don't even know your fucking name! Task. They just announced it on the talk show. It's a catchy. It's catchy, guys. You catch know up? Me. I don't fucking know, dude. You what know, the... Anne, Ryuji, Joker. <laughs> he knows their <laughs> names. Yeah. You know, that's Anne. That's Ryuji. That's Kimpachi Ramasama. And, and then the cat down the cat there. Cat Morgana. Bag. And, Morgana. And your friend Yusuke. And the person that's like... Right behind them, in a mask, is Makoto. If someone close to you, for example, like, what? your friend next to you. How did he know? If his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? They like target criminals. I see, but how can you be so sure? Because they've only targeted criminals. Because <laughs> they've only targeted criminals. <laughs> Yo, catch And not to mention, they're literally taking bounties off bad people on what's it called? On their website. Also, how the fuck did they, uh, has someone not traced the, the IP address of the fucking Phantom Thieves, uh, web website? I'm glad you talked about that, Twitch. Now, time to a segue into our, uh, sponsor today, NordVPN. Shut Nord the fuck, VPN. shut up. <laughs> change people's hearts i mean there's Man. plenty of ways to do it drugs torture psycho you know what it could stuff? be what if they honestly possess in a realistic it sense it could be uh that devil's breath drug confessions but you mean that weird african drug yeah they blow it into no, your no, face? it's a uh it's a south american drug yeah yeah it's the same thing africa and south america are not the same fucking africa thing, i said african you said Africa. I did I? Yes, oh, I meant did. African. You just what? Yeah. You, you said Africa, but you meant African. It's it's, it's the same continent. No. What do you mean Africa. No? Africa. Yes. South America. Oh, I thought you said South Africa. Oh, you fool. Yeah, for some reason I, I yeah I That's heard all South you heard? Africa. Yeah, yeah. So South American. South, okay. It's a South American drug. Okay. So what's it do? Uh, how do you uh, how do you uh, administrate it? Uh, it's a dust that you blow into someone's face. Oh. And, uh, it makes them really susceptible to command. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually... You ever heard of a truth serum? Methods. No, it's that. That's like, a, like an apparent serum that the, you know, like, our government agents used to use back in the day to get, um... Confessions? Yeah, out of people. And I'm not sure if it's real or not. I don't think it's real. You know, you're absolutely right. Don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. <laughs> it's He's like, like explaining how fantasies actually do everything. It's like, it's like, yeah, it is uh, purely hypothetical. Like the friendship I thought we had. I don't even fucking know you! <laughs> the existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday life. You barged in on our fucking conversation about cake! We weren't even fucking talking about cake! To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. No! He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Thank you, Ryuji. Do you think it's for real? Most likely. 
Wait, what about the police? That he's siding with the police to, uh, find them? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, probably. I heard that I gotta take a big shit. It's like Ryuji comes back and it's a catchy ring, you know, Ryuji's clothes. <laughs> Ryuji's like unconscious, like naked in the bathroom. Tied up. Makoto walks in. Ryuji, what are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> Ryuji's like, what are you doing? Here's the boys restroom. Oh, nothing. I came to change my lens. <laughs> Ryuji's like, mm, mm, mm. And she's like, finally, I'll get the information out of you. Oh, I can't talk <laughs> my knuckles. <laughs> she takes out the baton and like the taser. Thank you in person. She takes out the 18 inch now, purple dildo. We will be going on that date now. Who the fuck are you? Advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. I have no idea what you're referencing. Shut up. Shut up, you fucking jackass. What I mean is there's there's a reason you don't have any friends. Cause you're you no nobody likes a smart guy. <laughs> nobody likes a smart ass. Like my grandma used to say. Like Grandma Rat used to say. Nobody likes a thinker. Adults are only interested in using the young. I forgot what they heard that from. Quick, now eat the babies. <laughs> eat the young for nourishment. In these modern times. I can understand why you'd support that actually <laughs> remind me. There was this, uh, there was this, uh, What does that remind you of? <laughs> Listen. Go on YouTube and look, look up, up Eat the Babies. Eat the Babies. <gasps> right now? Yeah, I'll pause it and we'll cut to it. Okay. The All fact. right, so uh, what did you uh, watch? The I watched uh, a political rally, and this lady was opposing climate change, and a lady in the crowd stood up and went, We need to eat the babies! We need to eat them! The CO2 too much, even if we bomb Russia, they eat the babies! Yes. So... And here's the thing. The fact that no one fucking laughed at that fucking lunatic, and everyone took it seriously, it says there's something really fucked up about this society. I don't- I don't think they took it seriously. I just think that they were, like, too in shock to say anything. Yeah. Right, which there's, is, a, there's actually, uh... There's actually a fucking... It's, it's a short story. No, it's, it's it's something like that. Or it's a poem. I can't remember what it was. About, like, uh... During, like, the British times. During, like, this weird feud between Ireland and, uh, British. As it goes. People were like, yeah, let's start eating kids. Oh. They didn't actually do it. It was, it was a satire. Uh-huh. Where, uh... Like it was like a, a meeting between like political figures and they were talking about how they need to start eating kids because and uh Because like everyone was like poor and they didn't have any like meat. They're like, okay We'll start eating kids. We'll have women who breed so we can eat the kids so We can turn the kids into leather and things like that and it was really fucked up, but it was kind of funny it's really dark and morbid and All right, the, and the lady was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. But here's the thing. <laughs> yeah Yeah, it's 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 hard to see if uh, if you get a chance look that up Eat the, eat and, the babies. And, and and you can yet again laugh at humanity for what we are. Like you're just like we gotta eat the babies. Yeah, we gotta eat the babies. Where did that even come from? Why are we talking about that? I don't remember now because uh, I think to the cut we had to wait so long to watch yeah. the video. <laughs> so now we just sound like Mad Men. Yeah, eat the babies. Since they have special talents. I Shut the fuck up, Keshi. Must be burning with a sense of justice and duty, but that justice is merely a facade, concealing their the lack said of duty. true strength. That's why I believe, if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. But I realized the other facade that we had is you, Joker. I thought you were my friend. I don't fucking know you. I don't know your name. I. I've barely been in this town for a few months. Hell, I don't even know the other two's names. <laughs> Rigugi, really Pan. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, I don't want to talk to you. Would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? No. Ah. <sighs> uh. No. Fuck you. What? The, in Persona Five, uh, normal, normal. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> no. options were. I'd like to, or no, it was either it's fine by me, and the other one was uh, if the opportunity come or if the opportunity arises. Yeah. I picked that one because I like being an asshole to a catchy, and that's all we have is that's fine by me, and I I'd love to. Thank you. I like how you specifically remember that. Because I, I don't like a catchy. Why don't you like a catchy? He seems like such a jackass. 
Look at his tie. Look at, look at the way he dresses. Look at his fucking hair. You just mad because you can't dress like that. I'm gonna kick your ass. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. <sighs> oh my god. What? Nothing. This guy's. I want to punch him in the stomach. It seems a detective, a detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Twitch. Uh... <laughs> Fuck it, we'll find out more about this next time. Yeah, basically. Alright guys, thank you for joining us on today's episode.